Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are back inside of Super Notes, which is an application I have talked about before, and I really feel like this is one of the more uh, like underhyped, underutilized note taking apps and uh, personal knowledge management apps out there. It is really underrated uh, and they had released an update back in May, which I quickly talked about, but I haven't been able to like deep dive into the application and make a real deep uh, dive video about Super Notes after I uh, after that uh, release back in May. So that's what I'm going to try to do right now. So we will cover both the new features, but also like the overall feel of the application. So let's start off with some of the newer features. We got custom collections and basically what custom collections are is like, I would call them smart folders. So basically you can set it up in a way that things actually show up uh, in those folders. So I have an inbox one, for example, here, everything that does not have a parent card, um, actually shows up uh, and that is because I mostly use parent cards to organize. I don't use tags as much uh, but I am trying to uh, use more tags but uh, you could actually make this however you wanted to. I'm just showing you how I did it. So basically this uh, shows me cards that are not parent cards and do not have any parent cards and you can customize the colors and here you can actually see uh, the filters. What I basically did is that I used the AI to create all of my different ones. So using the AI here, I could generate collections using AI superpowers, but you can also uh, create your own. But I feel like the AI did, did a good job. It took me a couple of tries until I figured out how to prompt it correctly, but um, I think it did a good job. I also have one for all of my parent cards and I have one for things with uh, tasks. So my reading list should be here. Uh, Christmas gift ideas should be here. I actually removed those uh, for this video. So if my friends or my family sees it, uh, they can't see what I'm planning to buy them for Christmas. Um, but things like that are inside of here and I just like to have it. Uh, in the sidebar uh, here as a collection. Uh, that is just personal preference and you have to figure out what you prefer, but having the ability to have like smart folders. Uh, so uh, basically every card I make that has a, a task inside of it will appear in here. That is just a, a great way of doing it. Uh, it is a great feature that I know a lot of people wanted inside of Super Notes. Uh, I mentioned that they have gotten some AI with the uh, custom collections and that is great, uh, but um, they also uh, have a little bit of a different, like, uh, I would say a different take on AI than a lot of the other applications I have tested out. Uh, so if we just use, let me see if I can find an example here. We have an example. I think I wrote this myself. I can click the dots here, or as you can see, I can right click as well and I can create uh, a click on vision uh, or use control S. I am terrible at using a uh, keyboard shortcuts, but uh, you could use keyboard shortcuts if you wanted to, or you could just press vision right here. And what this basically does is that it helps you uh, find spelling mistakes. It helps you add the right tags. And this is uh, like a really cool feature, something that makes my life a lot easier. As you might have known, I do not like AI taking notes for me. I do not like AI writing for me, but I need uh, AI to help me organize things and to help me with my spelling, especially in English, since it isn't my first language. And as you can see here, I get uh, suggestions for uh, different um, tags that I can use. And this is a book and it is also resources since I uh, use Para. So quickly I can do uh, this and add those. Uh, and as you can see here as well, 
it gives me like suggestions and I can click on them um, and add them as I go. And what's really great about this uh, is that uh, you have to actually go in and click it. And every time you go in and you click uh, these, you actually see what your mistake is, which has helped me actually improve my uh, English spelling a little bit. Um, and I, I really, uh, I really like how they have set this up, and I really like their philosophy around AI. So I can click enter, and it will actually replace and fix everything for me. So I get an icon here. I get some tags, and all of the spelling uh, that I made a mistake on actually uh, get fixed. And I learn a thing or two. The act of actually having to press things is really important and it is something I like a lot. Uh, so again, my main goal of note taking is to think for myself. I don't necessarily want AI to help me think. I want AI to help me organize. That is great. But uh, I actually agree with the philosophy uh, of AI that uh, Supernotes has. And if you want to learn more about the overall philosophy behind Supernotes and how um, how they created the application, I have a uh, link to the podcast episode I did with the founders up here somewhere. So check that out if you have the time. I think that it was a great episode, but I might be a little biased. Anyways, that's like the two main things. The last thing that I uh, actually use a little bit is uh, uh, is um, actually the uh, new uh, like new editor. That's what I have decided to call it. But uh, basically, this did not work previously, uh, and there are a few other things as well. So having uh, that added, as well as the right clicking, which hasn't been which wasn't here before, so right-clicking this open in Noteboard, um, that are, uh, those are like minor things that make a lot of difference uh, inside of an application like this. When it comes to the way it works, like the general features of this, you have note cards, which uh, a lot of people are familiar with. These note cards have a soft limit to them, so if I now open this up, this should be uh, this should actually be a little longer than uh, what the soft limit is. And you get this 365 characters over the soft limit. I can click this to see characters and words. Um, I do not necessarily care too much about this, but if you, for example, are a student or uh, if you... Uh, are trying to learn a new subject, I would recommend actually sticking uh, inside of the soft limit to have uh, smaller bits of information to learn. Uh, but you have that, uh, you have this uh, view right here and you can actually have uh, different views. So I can see this as a list as well and I can even see it as a graph. Uh, and you have a full-on graph view, and you have a 3D graph view here as well, which I find really, really cool. I haven't figured out how to use it yet, but it looks really cool. Um, so that is like the basic, basically the way the application works. I feel like they're doing an amazing job with the development of this. I feel like they are doing uh, the right things most of the time. And they also have a really cool uh, blog on their website, which I have been uh, reading and capturing from. I think I have something here somewhere. Uh, I captured uh, something for my own blog post from their blogs. This right here, why note-taking apps shouldn't be free, is something I actually uh, captured. So, um, a great blog as well, so check that out as well. But basically, uh, the way the application works is an easy to use note taker tailored towards students, I would say, but uh, I understand why a lot of people in the personal knowledge management space choose to use this application because it is really good, it is really fast, it has offline availability. Um, I've only uh, used the mobile app uh, for iOS, uh, but it is really good. It is really fast. I've also only used the desktop application for my Mac. Uh, 
So I have tried out the application in a few different places and I feel like the application is super fast uh, no matter which platform I'm on. Uh, so they have done an amazing job with the development. And this is an application I really recommend if you're looking for an easy to use uh, personal knowledge management application. You want the uh, possibilities of like linking things together and having a graph view, but you want don't want the complexity of many of the other applications that offer the same thing, then this might be the best one for you. I mainly use this when I'm studying for something. Uh, so right now I am taking a couple of classes. I have put a bunch of notes inside of here for this video, but I'm taking a couple of classes and that's one. An application like Super Notes is just amazing for me personally, but again, I completely understand why people are using it as their like personal knowledge management application and I do really recommend it uh, if you are interested and in looking for a new personal knowledge management application. But as usual do your own research, try out the application. They have um, they have a free tier uh, which is limited uh, so uh, try it out, see how it feels, but I personally really like the application. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.